Good afternoon, good morning. Somewhere on the trail. And today I am at Lake Texoma on the Texas Oklahoma border. And I am going to be doing the Cross Timbers Trail today and tomorrow. It's about 14 or 15 miles across depending on which map you look at and there is a loop trail about two-thirds of the way in It'll bring the total to about 18 miles so we're gonna get as close to that loop trail as we can today spend the night there get up do the loop and head out tomorrow I'm starting on the West End Rock Creek Campground and I'm going to be hiking over to Juniper Point which is where I left my car and wow it's been a little over two months since I've been on the trail today's January 25th uh, kind of windy I hope you can hear me the weather's really nice though uh, only supposed to be down in the tonight and just couldn't stand it anymore had to get out and do a trail um, the last one I did was in Arkansas and so it has been a while at least two months in the meantime I've watched every hiking video on YouTube and planned about 25 other hikes that I'd like to do at some point so I'm just gonna start checking them off the list and this is going to be a good one. Like I said, Lake Texoma. Huge lake. Reservoir lake. On the Texas-Oklahoma border. And our hike is going to be on the Texas side. So when we're looking across the lake, we'll be looking at Oklahoma most of the time. And we got these weird little trail markers here. Almost look like the top of a mason jar lid or something I actually couldn't find the trailhead so I drove around until I saw a little dirt road and I walked about a half mile down there I found out where the trail intersected so I just got out there and hiked back to the beginning of the trail so now we're gonna be doing the whole thing and here's Jack's again Jack's the hiking dog comes on all my overnighters with me and he's really starting to get big as you can tell since the Ozark Trail when he showed up but anyway it's about noon January 25th probably gonna be in the 60s today pretty nice out here don't really know what to expect on this trail of course I've already done a mile or so because I backtracked to the start at all right well I gotta get my dog back so we'll see you down the trail there he goes I think he might be a little excited <laughs> okay thanks for listening we'll check in later all right <clears throat> a couple miles down the trail and this is where I actually found the trail from this little side road here I happened to be coming around and I saw these little markers here. And so I just hiked back that way about a mile and a half or so. And now we're going to continue on this way towards Juniper Point. And no telling how far we'll make it today. No big hurry. We got the car waiting for us on the other side. So just going to take our time and enjoy it kind of windy it's the only really downside uh, trees give a lot of cover though right now 
but when we get on the top of the bluffs or out near the water it's really super windy but you can see it's uh it's really pretty nice back here a uh, lot nicer than i was expecting and make sure i stay on the right trail here follow these little weird white jar lid looking markers <laughs> anyway we're gonna take our time and enjoy kind of seeing a lot of a lot of this here not really liking that but hopefully as we get farther out we'll see less trash went by a few campsites that were ridiculous uh, so much plastic and trash laying around but anyway that's the way it goes when people can drive to places they usually you know get kind of trashy so we're gonna keep moving down the trail and we'll check in every once in a while Jax is still hanging in there he's having fun and here are some of those weird little get up close to one so you can see what I mean looks like the bottom of the jar lid that's what it feels like too all right well, we'll check in with you later as you can see it's pretty beautiful out here today the good thing about Texas in January you can still have days like this where it's in the 60s and it's only supposed to be down in the 40s tonight so not gonna be bad camping weather at all uh, hopefully we'll get a good sunrise or sunset over the lake and this is kind of neat too I've noticed they have these mile markers 10.75 so so far the highest one we've seen is 12 so I hope we started in the right spot we'll know because I'm a, I have a pedometer and we'll see what the mileage ends up being anyway we're gonna keep cruising down the trail and we'll check in with you later thanks for listening All right, a little ways down the trail from the last check-in, and it looks like we're about to come out to our first really good view. So I'm gonna take you with me down here. We're gonna check it out.
All right, a little ways down the trail here, and it's pretty nice, pretty nice trail so far. Um, I guess the only thing negative I could say is I've seen quite a bit of trash, um, mostly near those marina areas that you cross through, and the trails mark really well. It um, gets a little tricky through those open areas. It's hard to see the next marker, but I don't think I've gotten lost yet. Maybe just 20 or 30 feet off trail, and then I've been able to circle back and find it pretty fast, so uh, no real problems. Uh, pretty easy, pretty easy trail so far, but uh, <clears throat> we're just going to keep cruising along. Uh, came across another dog back there a ways, and that kind of was a little difficult to manage because I take jacks off the leash when we're hiking because he pulls so much on when I'm trying to use my poles and stuff, so... He's real good about staying behind me, but of course another dog shows up and that can change things. But anyway, having a good time so far. Great weather, as you can see, just wearing a t-shirt. And even though it's windy in the open areas, it's still really, really just fine. I uh, brought some warmer clothes for tonight, but so far don't really need them. Feeling good glad to be back on the trail any trail and been going by Lake Texoma pretty much the whole time you can see it it's just right off to my left and uh, haven't gotten any water out of there yet still have plenty but I've got my Sawyer mini for when the time comes so we're gonna keep moving down the trail and Keep an eye on the time and I've probably got about three hours. We'll have to start looking for a campsite since we got kind of a late start. We didn't really, really start till about noon. So only leaves about five hours maybe hiking and then we'll 30 minutes to get everything set up and squared away. And the sun will be going down. So anyway, we'll check in later and we'll see you on the trail and i'll just turn the camera around and get a, get an idea of what we're what we're hiking on here All right, we'll check in with you in a little bit. Thanks for watching.
we came up to this little trail here. Um, we're off trail right now. This was called Stairway to Heaven this way. So I figured we'd check it out. And so far, as you can see, it is definitely the hardest climbing of the day. Shot back down. There's Jackie. He's getting upset with me because I'm moving too slow. This is pretty cool up here. So I thought I'd film this part. Really interesting colors. All the moss and Cool. Not too far off the trail. Maybe a quarter mile. Something like that. I'm hoping that when we get to the top there's gonna be a big payoff. Maybe we'll have a great view. So I think we're getting close. Well, so far, not seeing anything. Uh oh, looks like we're about to walk right into a fence. Must be private property. Huh. Well, I'll walk up to the top of this hill, see if there's anything to see. All right, well, we're back where we started at the little cutoff, and the trail ended. It just cut back into the woods after it ran down that fence line for a little while, so we just turned around. I'm sure it loops back around to where we saw the other stairway to heaven sign. It's funny, a styrofoam it almost looks like a boulder. <laughs> So yeah, it's probably just a little loop. It was really neat back there, but uh, kind of weird running into that giant double layer fence. With the, had the no trespassing and we got a little ways up. It said uh, no trespassing, including Boy Scouts. So anyway, it just took a right turn back into the woods and I'm sure it looped around. So we're already back on the main trail. Probably was only a quarter mile or so of a detour so no big deal just thought we'd check it out take a left turn so we're gonna keep moving and if you look out there you can see that we are just behind the lake kind of at the end of a cove down here and I think as the trail winds around we're gonna get closer and closer that we've been following since the beginning and we'll keep you posted we'll see you down the trail and thanks for listening All right, well, I just came to a split in the trail and there's some green markers going off that way and our white markers continue on that way. So, I'm thinking that we are right here at this uh, Eagle's Roost. It looks like you can cut off and go up here and there's a campsite. So, I think I'm gonna go up there and check it out 
and then come back and try to make it to this campsite or this one then tomorrow I'll do this loop and then out and then my car is up here at Juniper Point and I was looking at the map and I think I hit the trail somewhere in here and hike back to about right there so I don't think I did this part of the trail I don't remember this I remember seeing it from over here so we probably missed maybe two miles but we're gonna make it up by doing this eagles roost and then we're gonna do the lost loop for sure tomorrow so we'll probably camp right here it looks like it's close to water so anyway we're gonna head up to eagles roost and we'll see you up there thanks for listening All right, we're a little ways down the trail. We hiked up to Eagle's Roost and back. Really cool up there. Great uh, overlook. Checked it out and looked around. Uh, really cool campsite up there, but way too windy. And we um, have a couple more miles we can go before it gets dark anyway, so. We're going to keep on heading down the trail, which has gotten pretty difficult through here. It's really a cool section. Really rocky. And definitely a pretty cool little section through here. And yeah, Eagle's Roost, really awesome. Uh, Would have liked to have camped up there, but it was just super windy and a little too early to stop for today but just keep in mind if you're ever out here really beautiful spot uh, the uh, land juts out kind of into the water you're surrounded by all sides and you're kind of out on the tip really a neat spot you could uh go to sleep listening to the waves hit the shore but when you get out in the open and up there by the water it's really windy today so uh, that's why I didn't do any talking up there filmed a little bit but I don't think you've been able to hear me so cool it's a little steep through here Anyway, we probably have a uh, mile and a half or two before we're going to start looking for a campsite. So we're going to keep heading that way and we'll see you at the campsite unless uh, we see something really awesome. We'll see you over there. Thanks for listening. all right here we are end of the day sun's about to go down getting a little chilly and we're just
just sitting on top of this hill having some dinner and we're set up right down there pretty good little camp spot um, not gonna build a fire so I don't need a fire ring but we're kind of uh, behind this hill which is giving us a great wind break down there so and as you can see I uh, if you've watched my other videos you've noticed that I use the Fly Creek UL1 this time I have a seed house 3 actually had this tent for a long time or I had it first but um, it's about four pounds and the other one is two pounds but this one is much easier to get everything in and having the dog with me because we were really crammed in to the small tent last time in Arkansas so we're gonna try this out and see how it goes and <laughs> what do you think Jackie B I think he wants some of my food he's tired of his dog food anyway we're just gonna sit on top of this hill watch the Sun go down and then we'll just go right down there and go to sleep and I have my usual stuff with me the one thing I did not bring on this trip was I didn't bring a stove I didn't bring a cooking pot or a mug or any coffee um, I didn't bring anything to recharge my phone all in all I dropped almost two pounds worth of stuff that I didn't bring so I made it up by bringing the heavier tent but it is a much nicer, much roomier tent. We're going to have plenty of room. It's a three-man tent. So with just me and a dog, should be all right. And we're already on Lost Man Loop. Not too far down, but probably tomorrow we'll only have about seven or eight miles to go. And we should be at the car. So it's going to be a real easy day. You can probably hear the wind picking up because I'm sitting on top of the So it's going to be nice down there when we go to sleep here in the next hour or so. And we're not too far from the lake. Can't really see it through here, but maybe a hundred yards, a couple hundred yards. Not too far. So if we really needed water, we could get it. Um, I still have about a liter. So we're just going to use that tonight and then tomorrow we'll get some out of the lake. I brought my filter with me, Sawyer Mini, as usual. So anyway, we're going to call it a night here in the Seed House 3. I'm not going to put the rain fly on. It's one of the things I love about this tent is that it's almost all mesh and you can see stars and everything when you're laying down at night so that's it for today day one done don't know how far we walked I'd say yeah 10 miles maybe don't even know real easy walk um, really didn't even feel like we were I mean we made such good time getting over here that I really couldn't believe it after our late start Anyway, tomorrow we'll complete this Lost Man Loop, head back to the car over at Juniper Point, and that'll be the end of this adventure. And like I said, I've got about 20 or 30 more that I've got lined up. I just need the time and money to do them. So anyway, we'll see you in the morning and we'll hike the rest of the trail on out thanks for listening